Welcome to Supernova's at home learning series. Today we're going to be talking about some scratch basics and, and what each of the type of blocks are and, and what they do. And so the very first block is called a hat block and you can find almost all of them in the events tab. So that's a yellow events tab and, and they've got sort of this bump on top with a bump on the bottom here and, and nothing can be stacked on top of them and what they do is they trigger scripts or programs in Scratch. So if you click them, you can get it to run. Um, so there's all kinds of different ways that we can get that to run. So when I click the green flag, do something, or when I press the space key, do something. Uh, and that's followed by the stack blocks. And that's the main, out of 120 Scratch blocks, 77 of them are these. These are your main scripts that perform actions and that you want to be using. So, for example, uh, if I stack them like this, so they have a notch in the top and a bump in the bottom, and you're able to stack them to make them run one by one. So first it'll say hello, and then it'll play a sound when I click the green flag. And then I can also do that with the space key and you're able to drag these all around. Um, and so that's the the basics of making a program but there's a few other blocks that we can use to make our program more dynamic. Uh, we've got these reporter blocks and, and any block in Scratch if you click it will tell you its value. And so these reporter blocks can hold words or they can hold numbers and so they're, they're the ones with the rounded edges. So 30 plus 30 is 60. Where is my mouse? It's at minus 240. Apple and banana together make apple banana. And so what we can actually do is you see some of these are rounded blocks as well. And we're able to fit reporter blocks inside of stackable blocks. So if I click here, you'll see that the cat says 60 or I can make it say different kinds of words or I can make it tell me where my mouse is which is minus 240 and so those are often used with these hexagon or pointy ones these ones are called boolean blocks and booleans always report true or false so right now I don't have anything in there, but if I say 50 equals 50, that'll come up as true. Zero is the default value, so zero is not greater than 50. But if I put in 30 plus 30, which is 60, so you see that they're rounded, and you're able to, you get a little white glow around the ring, and you're able to snap them together. So if I click that now, it becomes true. And so Booleans, they always report a yes or no. And we can take those booleans and we can put them inside of other hexagon shapes in Scratch. And so you can see here we have these three shapes are called C blocks. And C blocks are able to loop anything that's inside of them. So I can put this in here and now I've got the C block wrapping around stackable blocks. And so as long as this is true, then it'll say hello and meow. So we know that this will come up true. So if I put that in there and click, I should see it. And if I change this to 25, we know that 25 will come up false. And so if I put in, if 25 is equal to 50, then do these things, it shouldn't make do anything at all. And it doesn't. And the last piece of, or the last type of block, the last piece of, of programming in Scratch is these capped blocks. And so these capped blocks will either delete the clone, which we haven't talked about yet, or stop the program entirely. And so capped blocks have a notch at the top and they're flat on the bottom. So you can't add to the bottom, they end programs. And so when I press this, it'll run and stop the code entirely. So that's the basics six types of block that Scratch has. Um, 
Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.